Hello and welcome back. I am Conan Liberian with Conan's EDC, Easy Dad Carry, and today I'm going to go over my Urban EDC First Aid Kit. Let's take a look. So I know I talk about first aid a lot, or at least mention the importance, and I'm going to say at the top, like I say in most of my videos, have good access to good first aid. Accidents that happen in the home can be just as quick and deadly and traumatic as something that happens while you're hiking or camping. So have access to something, whatever you're doing. So when I say urban EDC, what I mean by that for me personally is that this is a kit I carry every day in my sling bag, pack, whatever I'm carrying, that is going to tackle 99% of what I do, whether I'm you know at work and catch a nasty cut, around the house, out with the kids, or even on a hike at a metro park, which we like to do most weekends, me and my young kids and my wife. So this is what I carry to really be able to take care of those things. To start out, right up top, a cheap, cheesy little flashlight, because it has an on-off switch, and if you're trying to find something, say, you're not only trying to do some first aid in the dark, but you're really trying to get a good focus or look at something, a little light is always good to have. And this thing's not crazy. It's not even waterproof. However, uh, it's super easy to use and uh, makes this easy to rummage through if I need to as well. Uh, on the outside, a couple quick access things. <clears throat> One, some hand sanitizer. Not just to clean off your hands, but if you need to do some first aid or clean some tools that you need to use, whether it's tweezers, pick, whatever it is, if you don't have, well, there are two things that I usually use to sanitize, and that's either alcohol or fire. So a lighter is also always a really good option. I have those, I, well, I always carry fire, but this is another good way to be able to sterilize not just your hands, but sterilize other things you might be working on or doing, or even put, worst case, on a wound to cut a nick to help clean it. On the outside, too, I carry a pen and paper. So this is half a Write in the Rain notebook, and I used to have just pieces of loose Write in the Rain paper until I did this, just cut one in half so it'd be nice and small and fit in another kit I made. The reason I carry paper and I like to carry in first aid is, well, twofold. One, I can write down when something happened. So if I'm out and about and I gave the kid some sort of medicine or something at X time, well, I can check that later when I'm trying to remember when I gave it to him. So really just a medication log, or say I need to take critical information for an emergency. Say I have helped someone or something is going on, I can keep notes, I can keep vital information to be able to give, say, to a first responder, either for myself or my family, or even something that I witnessed to be able to pass off information and keep information can be extremely vital when it comes to first aid. So having paper and something to write with, say you need to take details just because of an incident that you witnessed, having something like this can definitely save the day and make things a lot easier. And just again, more convenient too, just knowing what time you took Advil last when you're out and about uh, is pretty big, especially when kids, they just want it an hour again later, no matter what anyways. <clears throat> Up next is um, Alka-Seltzer, because I get heartburn. Once I hit 30, I get heartburn at the drop of a hat. Uh, it's crazy. I can't look at spicy food without getting heartburn. It's pretty cool, just the perks of getting older. Uh, these are some saline eye drops. I don't use eye drops too much, but the wife does, and they're just good to have. Just quick little one-shots. I don't need to or want to carry a whole bottle, but you can get a pack of these. They come like 20 or something for really not that expensive. If you really want to save some weight, here, check this out. If you want to save some weight or save some space, so a lot of my little kits, I have just one of these. You can cut the bottom off because the bottom's really just a holder tab and a way to connect them together. But there you go. You got a tiny little pod that's barely an inch long. So eye drops, always nice to have if you need to flush something because, you know, I, I'm going to use the example a lot and I use it in a lot of my videos. 
my kids are the quintessential children that get injuries, get stuff in their eyes. They're just, they're the reason that I, I carry so much stuff is because I am constantly playing field medic. So the last thing on the outside is a pretty good length of electrical tape. This is, um, well, this is just an old, here we go. I've shown this off before, just a loyalty card from a local gas station that I cut down and I wrapped um, maybe five or six feet of electrical tape on this because uh, well, I'm in automotive, I'm in uh, parts, but I'm in shops, and I have been for a long time, and I will tell you, electrical tape makes an excellent bandage wrapping. I know there's even better stuff out there, but honestly, for what it is and what it does, electrical tape is great for wrapping around bandages. If you ask your average technician or mechanic the most common first aid item they use outside of a band-aid... Uh, there's a good chance they're going to say super glue and electrical tape. And uh, yeah, I've used this plenty of times myself, and uh, I just find it super convenient. I mean, it's great for other repairs too, but electrical tape actually makes a pretty good, uh, I guess, field dressing, you would call it. <clears throat> so that's the outside. The inside, and this is a bag that I picked up a while ago. I got some freebie sh uh, shell motor oil on here. I don't know... I don't remember where I got it, but... Okay, we're just going to go off the top here. Uh, it, it's not a tactical loadout, it's just the first aid kit I carry. So, uh, first up top, this little baggie here with a compressed towelette. So, just in case you need something to really wipe stuff off. And then some finger coverings for applying uh, topical aids, that sort of thing. I found these are super useful. Also, if you need to work on something that's kind of gross, having some way to cover even just a digit that you're going to work on, these are really nice. Uh, this is a big old bag of pills. And this has a bunch of stuff in it. Mostly I'll say it's Advil, Kids Advil, uh, heartburn medication again because of heartburn. Uh, some Sudafed. I've got a little bit of aspirin, not for myself, um, but I know there are some people that can't actually take Advil or Tylenol, so carrying some aspirin just in case I'm with someone who needs that. Uh, and then some kids' tummy stuff, because the two things my kids always complain about the most are my this hurts or my tummy hurts. So having some of that. Uh, I know I could go with a pill container, but... Uh, Carrying a giant capsule, honestly, I carried one in here for a while, but it was actually way less convenient than having something like this. Uh, turned out to work pretty easily. Plus, that most of those pill containers is, would have to be pretty large to fit like this kid's chewable stuff. So a baggie of pills, and this, I've shown these off a hundred times. But of course now I can't find them. Uh, go to Walmart, spend two bucks, get a pouch of like 50 of these medicine bags. They're awesome for EDC, for medicine, for everything. So medicine, ways to apply stuff, essentially. Um, more hand sanitizer. Just really you can't get enough or use enough of this when stuff is really getting grimy. I really like these individual ones. Uh, I like when I can. Uh, I sometimes carry a larger bottle or pouch in my sling bag, but at the same time, uh, if I'm just, you know, grabbing something to go, having these is super convenient. All right, another pouch here. Uh, so this is topical stuff and wipes. I've got some, yeah, some actual sterilizing wipes and some triple antibiotic, that sort of thing, and then some super glue because I personally probably use super glue more often than I use regular band-aids it's just more convenient especially because i'm in automotive my hands get grimy and dirty and band-aids just don't really seem to stay on that well uh, especially because i usually get nicks and cuts it's a pretty good one a few of them actually on my hands where band-aids don't want to stay so super glue always rides with me uh, and here is a little hardware kit actually so i'm always carrying a multi-tool and I always have all sorts of tools with me, but at the same time, if someone else needs to use 
something on me or administer first aid to me. I want them to be able to do so. This is just a little knife. It's got a little multi-tool. I think this may have actually come in some Walgreens or dollar store first aid kit, but a tiny little multi-tool with a bottle opener and a little screwdriver. I don't know what first aid that applies, but having a little blade, having a little something to clean and file fits pretty easy. A little pair of tweezers. I don't have it on the keychain thing. Uh, one, because I lost that. And two, because it actually packs and is a little more convenient like this just to go in the bag. This tiny little pair of scissors is not the best pair of scissors. However, it is good for cutting down band-aids or moleskin or other little things. It's not going to cut through a piece of clothing, but it will cut paper and bandages, that sort of thing. Uh, last in this little hardware kit is a titanium toothpick. Now, I don't know if it's actually titanium, but what I will say is that this thing is sharp as hell, and I will never, ever use it as a toothpick. I will never put this in my mouth just to get food out. However, I have used this a lot of times for lancing, or especially when I'm trying to pick out a splinter. Just having something super pointy, just dedicated to po poking, uh, is actually super convenient. That way, too, I'm not relying on a knife or a tool that I carry all the time. This is easy to still. It's easy to keep clean and to clean and to kind of hide away and be practical without caring. Like, I really don't know what else is out there. And maybe leave a comment if you know of a, a common tool that's as pointy as something like this. Uh, but a tiny titanium dagger uh, has actually come in a lot of use for basic stuff. So that is the hardware kit. <clears throat> and then, uh, well, no, there's one other thing before the big bag. Uh, new skin, or liquid skin, new skin. Uh, it's essentially liquid band-aid. So it is different than uh, super glue, which dries immediately. This dries, uh, it takes longer to dry, but it is more flexible. And I find that uh, my kids would prefer this stuff over super glue. And really, depending on where this is going, uh, especially, like I said, on the kiddos, uh, this liquid skin stuff is actually really nice. And if you haven't used it, pick some up, give it a try sometime. Makes a nice, um, like a flexible bandage skin type. This stuff is really nice. I actually have, so this was, I pointed this out in a video, it was a while ago now. Uh, but I split my knuckle open doing some uh, yard work, and I actually used liquid skin for a while on this, and the scar is actually very minimal. Unless I pointed it out, you might not even realize that I've got something there. So liquid skin, just a little tube of it because, you know, this isn't for long-term treatment where it might be something you wash or peel and then apply daily. This is more just something for that quick fix. <clears throat> uh, and the last piece is a big old bag of band-aids and bandages. A lot of different types in here because of different types of, I guess, injuries. So butterfly, regular band-aid, a bit of gauze, and this gauze, something like this. I don't have medical tape, but I do have, if I'm really going to apply this, uh, some of this electrical tape to help keep it secure. So larger bandages... And the last thing that I personally really like is some of this stop bleed powder. Now, you can also get bandages or medical tape or a lot of different applications that have stop bleed on them. There's actual stop bleed gauze, which is really good too. And I've had that in the past. Um, my preference is this stop bleed powder, just because you snip this open and you have a, a very good way to stop some pretty serious bleeding. This is actually what I put on my finger. I was doing some yard work. A large stick branch something came up and split my knuckle down. I'm not going to say to the bone, but it was pretty bad. I couldn't bend my finger without it. Uh, you know, trigger warning here, but without it opening up like a bird's beak. It was really bad. And this stop bleed stuff in that is what kept it from getting worse and worse. And I was able to take care of myself at home in the sink as opposed to having to... Well, say go to the ER or urgent care where they would have put stop bleed, new skin, 
And uh, I, I don't know what else they would have had to have done. So, yeah, that is my first aid kit. Now, I am not a first responder. I am not professionally trained. I am someone, uh, the most training I've had is scouts. As far as experience, a lot of outdoors experience and just treating myself, treating my kids um, and finding different information, learning different things, everything I can. For me personally, when it comes to EDC or especially outdoors activities, first aid is the most important thing you can learn. It's the best skill and knowledge you can have because none of this means anything. Just like any other tool you are going to use, first aid supplies are only as useful as the information you have on how to use them properly. A Band-Aid is pretty self-explanatory. Um, <laughs> Bleed Stop is pretty self-explanatory. You know, no, nothing here is really crazy, but that's what this is really why I carry it. This takes care of pretty much all that stuff is going to come up outside of major traumas. And, you know, that that works pretty well. And this is all the stuff that, honestly, I use on a regular basis, whether it's the hand sanitizer, nicks, cuts, medicine, even a pretty good cut that I might, say, catch at work or while we're hiking, one of the kids has skinned their knee pretty bad in the past, and we've used this stuff. So having the supplies that I need to get through my day and make sure that if I'm out, if something's going on, that I can take care of it then and there, and if it needs to be taken care of further, being able to do so without going into crisis or panic mode. EDC is about being prepared. It's having the tools with you and on you to take care of what you are facing. And if I have to face any of this stuff, well, I can face it. And if it needs to be taken care of, I can take care of it right then to then take care of it later if it needs that. So, yeah, my random uh, rant about first aid, as always, please get first aid, build first aid, learn first aid, use first aid. That's the biggest takeaway. I'm just going to name this first aid, EDC, first aid, exclamation point, and that's my rant. So thank you as always for spending your time with me and stay safe, be prepared, and have a great day.